Well, hello. Welcome back. This is Nisha, and I'm back to do their current feelings on you. Pick a card. Mood. Hey. <laughs> What's the current mood about y'all? All right, so um, I'm going to try to get four in here, okay, so get some variety. We're going to really look in this person's feelings, how they feeling about you, how they feeling about you, how they viewing you. All right. Um, if they're going to take any actions towards you. But let's see their current moves on you. Pick a card. All right, for June. Right now, in this moment. Alright, warm. So this person is concealing their feelings. This could be a cancer. You could be a cancer. Let's see. Oh yeah, this person made a decision about you. Or they secretly concealing a decision that they feel what they want. I feel like this person is kind of cold towards you with the King of Swords there. <laughs> they look good, huh? We have here the, yeah, they've been watching you too. And we... Uh, they want to reconcile with you, okay? So they secretly been paying attention to you gathering information on you, especially with the page of swords coming out real strong here. All right, so they and they feelings about how can they reunite with you, talk to you, tell you something. I feel like you guys, whoever this pick group number one, they could be coming towards you around that lunar eclipse in Cancer, okay? Telling you that they made a decision on what they want to do with you. Let's see their other feelings for you, okay? But yeah, that's the tarot cards. I'm going to get some other advice, okay? Oh, it's safe for you to love chemistry, like a control issue and passion. All right, so this person that is, is <laughs> all right, first of all, they want you to know it's safe for you to love this person, okay, that's watching you or they hoping that you will love them. All right, so um, I feel like this person want to open up for you. They could be fearful, all right, have a lot of emotions, and they have a strong magnetic attraction towards you. Then we have let go of control issue. They spying on you and seeing what you're doing because they have a controlling problem, this Libra, <laughs> this Cancer Libra. Gemini Aquarius. You guys could be the air sign. This could be a cancer or strong cancer Libra showing up here for you guys. Alright, that chose this group. But I feel like this person is in their feelings about you because they um their current mood is that they want something with you. They they find passion. They find it hard to let their stuff go either too. I feel like they're watching they wait dude. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so they stay silent. Silent but deadly. We have his secret. Secretly, they just want you. They this is their feelings. We have crow creed. So they trying to create something. They kind of get you in their web. <laughs> and we have radical acceptance. Some somebody having a hard time accepting that it's over. I'm hearing too with you guys. Their current mood is like damn. Is it really over? Okay. Let's see what else going on. Okay, so that's my late feelings. Okay, so this person all over the place. But one thing I could tell you in group one, this person want to be with you. All right. Um, this is, it may be somebody in your friendship zone or no friend of the family that could be secretly watching you. This person, you don't know a lot about them with the moon there. Okay, they could seal their feelings very well. All right, creative, very creative person. Okay. Uh, the, the act they okay you may know them because they secretly want to apologize to you guys holding on but somebody could be holding on to them they haven't let you go and we have here low vibes okay so this person also you know what they coming towards you with low vibrational energy and you guys um I don't know if y'all going to receive that well with this person. You shouldn't receive this person well. All right. They could be apologizing about the third party situation they put you in. Okay. Farewell here. We have here um, harmony, a spiritual connection. Yeah, you love this person. This is deep shit. You, they could have said goodbye, but this person was saying that you mixed signals. And we have telepathy. Still, this is probably a twin flame of yours or somebody you really care about. A, a deep, higher level soulmate if you chose number one. And this person is feeling this like goodbye. They feeling this disconnect from you. And they want to be with you is what I'm hearing. All right, last card. I'm done with their moves, okay? So, this person made all right, Ice King decision need to be made again. Family could be important. Travel, what else? Spiritual evolution. All right, so their current mood is they could be taking care of family and responsibility. They may be traveling a lot, but they definitely are going through an evolution right now about how they feel about this connection with you guys. Okay, group one. Um, 
the moon, like I said, the time already did it in the beginning. If you go back and look at it, all right. I feel like you need to make sure you're not a third party with this person. I feel like you guys are spiritually connected because we got telepathy, intuition, and inner knowing, deep love, soulmate, and unity coming out here. So I feel like um, this person does understand who you are to them, period. All right, and you may have left them because they were in this low, low vibrational energy, okay, and having a hard time apologizing to you guys. Okay, before I wrap it up with group number one, I'm trying to get some more cards to see what you guys need to know. All right, because I'll be trying not to make them too long so I can get a variety of them. Let's see. Um, zodiac signs. So, you guys, group one, let's get some zodiac signs off of you and some additional message you may want to know. All right, so this could be a Virgo Taurus, a Capricorn, very modest, a Pisces here with the moon too. We have here Nep Uranus. So expect this person is unpredictable, okay, with the Uranus card here. This Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, now Aquarius showing up again, and um, they may do something unpredictable. I don't know if you dealt with this person, let this person go because they were very selfish in the past and they thought about this stuff. So, so anyway, if they feel like you're the idealistic person, I feel like this person is not very grounded. You could be very grounded. And this person with the creativity card, they do idealize you as this perfect mate. All right. Um... Uranus is having a bunch of uh, conjunctions going on with us for the next couple months. So this person can pop up at any time, okay? <laughs> it's not really giving me definite answers of where and how this person is going to come to you, Group 1. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that Group 1 for their current moves about you. Group 2, let's see what's going on with you guys, Group 2. All right, we have here the Page of One. So their current moves is feeling like they, they want to talk to you. Oh, they want to make your wishes come true. All right, and they want an opportunity with you. Okay, this person could be drunk texting you, reminiscing on a relationship. They looking at you like they um, want a, a chance with you, okay? With the Nine of Cups, Prince, Prince of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a younger Earth and Fire sign, Cancer Pisces. Sorry, Capricorn, Taurus of Virgo, or a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, or a Pisces in particular in this group. I'm hearing that, you know, they can only express their love through, you know, being under the influence of drugs, alcohol, all right, towards you. Uh, so, hmm, this person, though, um, you they definitely want to come around towards your group, too. I don't know if you met this person, you drunk with this person, you like the way they talk, they fun, they have a lot of um, youth, you very youthful energy. Could be gossiping about you. They current mood, <laughs> they feelings that you you very beautiful. So they could be talking about your beauty, how beautiful you is, how you have a lot of option. Uh, <laughs> all right, so this person current mood is that you know maybe they won't get a chance with you because it's a lot of people in your environment. Okay. And um, they could be telling their friends, I may never get with this person. They have too many options. All right, left and right. They're only in my wildest dreams, which is the Nine of Cups. All right, they're gaining clarity about you, okay? You may have felt this way about them, but I feel like you guys are on a glow up <laughs> with these cards. And they look, they're recognizing that soul contract. This person want to um, come to you with a contract. They codependent Capricorn energy. We have loss. They definitely feel the loss of you, this person, okay? And how they feel about you. Their mood is like, damn, I lost somebody that I could depend on. And um, I love. That's what I'm hearing. And what can I do, you know, instinctually? To make them come back towards me, you know, I gotta speak the truth. This person could also be locked up right now too, group two, with the uh, lost card representing the bars and everything. I feel like they slowly wither in a way. All right, they are knowledgeable about the. They got. They understand you are wise. They got clear understanding of your devotion to them. Okay, you could be very devoted to this person, and y'all could have been in a contract that they broke. Okay, we have flow. Okay, this person definitely is rigid, and we have in between. Okay, so they like in between. What should they do? Should they contact you? Should they not? Should they just sit there? But I feel like this person, when they do, they are underneath the influence. Okay, in the mood. 
So they ain't never thinking with a clear head and they realize it now though. They need to acknowledge that you were wise and you were someone that they can love and mature and be with and you were devoted to them. You allowed them to be they self and you you had wisdom, okay? You opened that up that mind of theirs up to more possibilities. They move about you is that they want you to trust them. They want to engage you. They want you to give this a chance. And they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, a group too. So this person you're dealing with, they definitely uh, feeling like they want to reach out to you. We have nine of cups. It's Leo season. I feel like though, yeah, this person may reach out to you before the uh, Mars go into Aries, okay? Let's see what else going on. That could be around June 19th. So you, this person is adjusting, okay? And they have, <laughs> this could be a Scorpio. They got some built-up resentment and believing in the possible. So something out the blue is going to happen with this person that you need to know about, okay? Um, it could be a Scorpio. But yeah, something impossible <laughs> is happening. I feel like this person want to come back around you. Somebody held the grudge, okay? And you could have been you or this person. But I feel like they moved is that down, man. They, it'll be impossible to get a chance with you. Earth sign, Jupiter, Sagittarius, Taurus. You could be a Taurus, you could be a Sagittarius, or you could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. All right, but this person definitely wants to come around and expand with you is what I'm hearing. But it's like, will it be successful? All right, will this be successful? Because it looks like it's a soul contract here. Codependent, okay, could be a karmic codependent soul type of contract coming around towards you guys. Big happy changes is happening. Wow. We have here abundance. Oh, group two. And then we have here ask, ask, others for, uh, ask help from others. Okay, so this person could be asking their friends to help them hook them up with you, okay, or get you guys back together. Wow, but something big. All right, yeah, there's some bitterness, stinging words with this group and confliction and roaming while somebody um, realized they was a, they gave you mixed signals. They call it mood is mixed and free and this could, you could be a Sagittarius. This could be a Sagittarius, okay? And it could be a Scorpio in this group or you could be that very strongly, okay? But what's happening with this group is I'm saying that somebody is um, definitely resentful about what they didn't do, okay? Mm-hmm. Stinging words, bitterness, and anger. Somebody did some bullshit, okay, whether that be you or them. All right, somebody took some type of risk. They will probably take a risk to come towards you because they feel like you're beautiful. But this person kind of inconsistent, and they have other people in their life and everything. But if they did have a lot of people in their life, something big is changing for them, some type of happiness, okay. Let's see. We have a year from now. Ooh, it could take a year from now for this person to get, or this could happen as a backstory, which I don't see, um, that this person could come towards you. So, Taurus season next year, a year from now. All right, or Gemini season. All right, so if you chose this pile, you may have been waiting for a year for this person to come around, and it's here. Okay, now they want to gauge you. Now they want to have a heart to heart conversation. Now they're telling you they realize what they did. Okay. If you guys been in separation from someone and you were devoted to them waiting, I think you guys got to glow up. This person to come around because you are glowing up. You look good. Also, okay, they current moves about you for y'all in a spiritual connection. But I just feel like a lot of you guys, y'all been waiting for this for a year and it's coming around. And this is what's so like unbelievable to you in group two that this person actually going to reach out to you and, and, and engage you. I don't know who that is. You've seen the signs. I named them. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Tell me at the bottom if that resonates with your person. Have you been waiting for them, group two, for a year or more or um, to change? Let's see. Group three. Ooh, death. Scorpios all through these energies. <laughs> If you was picking group two, you should go check it out, okay? Um, if you were conflicted, if you wanted to choose two or three. All right, we have here, oh, the moon, Cancer, Pisces. And we had a seven of one. So this person feels like you blocked them and you holding secrets and you have changed on them, period. With these cards being here, a major shift has happened with this person in group three. They move. They no longer look at situation and things the same. And they finally have had the courage to stand up for themselves and block out a lot of people and places that hid things from them. Okay. Let's 
see what else this person mood is. Okay, yeah, my gains. Fuckery. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this person likes to do bullshit, okay? And you put an end to it. No more gains. Reflecting. They realizing you caught on to their bullshit, the secrets. We have here infinite me and you to F. And that's a Leo block, okay? It's definitely somebody blocked somebody here in this group. You may not be talking to this person or you may have to cut some out because this person is full of shit. They reflecting on what they did, okay? But they feel like you guys are meant to be together forever. Me and you are never apart. I'm having all type of songs coming in my head. <laughs> All right, we have here very soon this person is going to come around try to play some mind games with you, okay? So clearly decide if you want to go, um, play the game with them. Separation, I feel like you guys won't. And we have here, this could be the one. I also feel like this person mood is that you the one for them. They want you to be in their life. All right, <laughs> this is their feelings. I'm going to see if I can get any action soon. But yeah, last feelings. New love. So they may think you have a new love. You may be dating, okay? Twin flame, damn. <clears throat> <laughs> well, maybe you did get a new love and you're dating. Or you guys, somebody current moves about you is feeling like you're their twin flame. They was waiting for you to separate. And they're about to do something. All right. I had ate that food. Okay. Don't even matter. All right. You have Mercury. So Gemini or uh, uh, Virgo, Aries. And then we have Libra in this group. Okay. Other signs, other significant dates. Libra season could have been significant when something happened. Aries season could have been significant to communication coming in. Could have been miscommunication. Mercury's retrograde may be significant to this person coming back around. I'm blocking you, playing games with you. My sex is here. So my fuckery is here. This could be your twin flame here. All right, let's see why I'm getting these cards. All right, somebody want to heal the situation. All right, so you probably intuitively notice. They may be taking action to tell you they want to heal something as well is what I'm hearing. What's this person action towards you? All right, this is somebody selfish, okay, that has the problem with command or being in a relationship or they want a partnership now. This is what they're communicating with you. Seven is important. Seven days from now, seven weeks from now, July is important for you guys. This person that could be contacting you. We have sparks, okay, chemistry in here. All right, so they mood is that, that you know, you, you light a spark in them, okay? They may like the fucking mind greens. We have frozen, so they ain't been saying nothing. So this could have been somebody you not, like I said, not talking to. Silence, still words, and then we have rejection. Somebody may be afraid to come towards you because they rejected. They could have had third parties involved here, too, is what they're not telling you. All right, any last information that group three need to know before I go to group four? All right. So this person coming back around Mercury retrograde, and this could be your twin flame. Let's see if this fool evolved. <laughs> well, so far, let's see. Waiting. All right, walking away. And we have Knight of Swords. So yeah, they coming in quick because they don't want you to walk away. If you're about to cut somebody off because you've been waiting on them, they coming back. They coming towards you quick. Okay. Uh, I feel like you may reject them. If you're going towards somebody quick, they may reject it. But I feel like, yeah, this person feels rejected by you. They have irrational fears. They don't want you to say no. They don't want you to dismiss them. It's what you don't need. know about this person in this group. All right, this could be an Aries or a Leo, a Libra that had these type of issues, Virgo or a Gemini. You could be that sign. Somebody definitely want to heal something with you. All right, but will they? Will you allow them? Also, for some of them, they actually thank you with somebody new and dating them, okay? You guys could be with your twin flame in this group, okay? Or you may feel like this person is your twin flame. Y'all been separated for a very long time. All right. Could be seven years, too. For some of you guys, I got that. All right, because the seven was significant here. Major changes. Group four, last but not least. Let's see how they feel about you, their current mood. <laughs> Uh, how do you feel about your they current move all right this person watching you they want to be your man they're your woman oh yes group four y'all got it going on oh, it's the time the timing, the will of fortune, somebody might feel like they missed their time to be with you but they watching you it could be an Aries Leo or Taurus period 
Emperor and Empress here. All right. So divine masculine, divine feminine showing up strongly here. All right. So this motherfucker, <laughs> this motherfucker, <laughs> this person you dealing with <laughs> is um either in a marriage, married or you married or somebody is married and watching the other person. This is a move. They feel like you taking control of your life. All right. You're doing good and they watching you glow up. Okay. Be the man, be the woman. All right. But this person want to speak to you. <laughs> We have here separation. Yeah, they watching you. All right. You guys, this could be your own wife or husband that's, like, watching you. Y'all guys are apart, and they want you to be back with them. They feel like you're the one, and they feel like you need to release other energy, okay? Or they could be trying to release energy and people around them separate from a marriage because they want to come to you. They think you should be their they spouse or their wife. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, they have to release some energy. Gossip and who we have mature woman and we have ice king. I feel like this person um gossip a lot about you. All right, they move, they feel like that you got other things going on, you making other decisions in your life. It's a strong masculine energy showing up here. And we have Virgo, we have Sagittarius. And we have cancer here. Okay, so this is a twin flame union. Some of you guys are dealing with. Maybe you guys stop growing and stop growing here. This person feel like they find home and harmony with you. Something caused a separation here. And people have been talking about it. All right, we have footprints. This person being directed towards you. It's doing something spontaneous. And um, they got their focus on you. This person is focused on you. Coming back around to you. Want to talk to you. All right, so what should this group four do with this person? What's going to happen? What's this person going to do towards you guys? Ask others for help if you need help. Okay, you're ready. Okay, so some of you guys are at the world, y'all ready to get contact. We have to look for signs. And then we have here, unlikely. All right, so unlikely is what? <laughs> I right, wait. Okay, so you guys are waiting. Okay, so don't make any sudden moves. Okay, you're ready to either start a new chapter, or go in union, but right now they telling you wait with this person, or this person is waiting because they feel like you're not getting the signal that they want to be with you. Also, is what I'm hearing. All right, let's see. Opportunity, yes, yeah, a big ass opportunity coming. All right, but some of you guys got to choose wisely. I feel like your divine masculine is coming. In. Okay. Uh, okay. We're going to get what this person not telling you in group four, and I'm wrapping it up. Cancer season, Virgo season is the time they're going to reach out. They already watching you around that time. You could be a Cancer, Virgo, or this could be who be watching you. Somebody hasn't lost faith in you, and they want this to come true. They feel like you are good enough, okay? You should be with them. All right, Virgo's here, and this goes strongly, okay? <laughs> the Empress here, Taurus, is also showing up, and Aries. For some reason, if you're an air sign, they could be doing that too. I just feel like somebody's watching. All right, we have here memories, bittersweet, dwelling, reminiscing, new direction, fresh energy. Okay. And, uh, man, <laughs> clarity. <laughs> All right. Did I get the spiritual love messages? No, I didn't. All right, so somebody want to have an honest conversation with you that they want this to go into a new direction, okay? You may, you know, you and this person may have bittersweet memories. I feel like y'all reminisce on each other a lot, and they want to be back with you or vice versa, you there. But they on low vibration. You expose this person, all right? They want to apologize for putting you in some low vibrational situation, and they want to come back and be with you. But somebody in group four is being exposed for what they have done, and they are sorry. All right, so this person, they sorry about what they did, okay? If you exposed them, they was on some bullshit. They, they, they go in clarity. They looking back. They know what they did, okay? Any last messages for my group four? And I'm going to wrap it up about this person. They current feelings about you. They know you good. All right, they think you're fine, sexy, irresistible. They want a kid with you, all right? 
they are like fantasizing about you and this is your twin flame here too even though it didn't come out you got the king and queen of one okay you could have kids with this person i feel like this person wants to tell you the truth about that too i feel like this could be a leo too or <laughs> uh, scorpio just showed up here uh what you need to know is that this person dreams about you they pain about you they won't have kids with you and they simply find you irresistible leo season could be very significant also another time frame and when this person may contact you, you guys always got to come back let me know if you're dealing with any of these signs too because that's i'm predicting seasons out from what they doing right now all right but yeah this is someone that you either release let go of but they still feel like you're the one for them or vice versa you feel like they're the one for you they've been watching this person all right guys bye.